How you doing? We got Natalie. Natalie, nice to meet you, Natalie. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Good, 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 good. Okay, today I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about like men approaching a woman that they desire and want in life without being awkward <laughs> and giving off creep energy? You know what I mean? Because today I feel like it's a good, good topic. Yeah, I think that it's good if it's like done respectfully. Okay. Like, I think it's one thing to like you know like holler at a girl but then like another thing to like just be like hey like what's your name it's nice like, seeing you like do you feel like today dating is harder yes absolutely do you feel like social media yes. has us thinking this, we have more options than we really have absolutely and i think that social media gives like unrealistic standards mm, that's deep hey. that's real hey okay that's appreciate what I'm the time. Yeah. <laughs> moon. moon okay mm -hmm. Today's question going to be, how do you feel about an attractive guy approaching you that's genuinely interested in you? Like, just approaching you out of nowhere, maybe on a school day while you're studying. Yeah. Like, how do you feel about that topic? Um, well, I think it would be, like, I think it would really catch my attention because it's really unexpected. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, how, how does that, it's a good thing. How does that guy not get that creep guy energy? Like, oh, how does I he mean, not get that persona while approaching a woman that he likes? Uh, not coming off weird. I don't really know. I don't know. I think it's just, like, how you, like, walk up. Yeah. You think he should be fully confident, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Appreciate your time. Yeah. Here we have... Ella. Ella. Okay, Ella. So, my question with you today is going to be, how do you feel about a man approaching a woman that he desires? Like, if he finds her attractive. Like <laughs> as just, long as he's respectful, it's nice. Do you feel like in this day and age, it's worth it? Like, a random yes. guy comes up to you and say, yo, sure. you know, you're beautiful. Sure. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how often are you do you, are you approached? And, like, how receptive are you towards um, you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. No, I mean, sometimes when I go out. <laughs> okay. What about a school day? A quiet day? No. No? Not no, a day? Not approached. Not approached? Okay. That's yeah. real. I appreciate that answer. Appreciate your time. I'm here with Ella. Ella. Okay, I got a quick question. H how do you feel about a man approaching a woman that he wants in his life that he's attracted to without giving off creep energy and doing it out of nowhere, broad daylight, whenever he feels like it? Um, Is it a perfect time? What? Um, I don't know. I'm actually on the phone with my boyfriend right now. Um, I'm not. Sh I I guess I don't know. Being approached. I, I, how did you guys meet? I think uh, that's in, even a better in question. Class. In like class, like we knew each other before. So you think yeah. you think environment-wise is the most important factor? Yeah, yeah. Like maybe when there's like other people or like, like it's like, like below. But do you think with others? Since being with your boyfriend, do you think like there's no such thing as a perfect time? Because I feel like we can get this idea that it's a perfect time, and there is no perfect time. I think that's true. I think it's more of just like perceived safe if that makes sense because so it's just so like objectively like being approached by someone you don't know mm -hmm. but I feel like being approached by someone you don't know in like a space with like other people would be like normal like so it's know. all about making the woman feel comfortable yeah gotcha yeah. okay yeah. okay thank you for your sure. time yeah no problem and we Nayla okay how you doing Nayla I'm okay how okay okay you? I'm doing well I'm doing Thanks. well myself today I really want to give men an answer on just overall how to approach a woman out of nowhere and not be a creep mm -hmm. and not give all creep energy and is it genuinely <laughs> worth it to approach a woman that they find desirable in public like on okay. some just out of nowhere approach her hmm. this is hard okay i think if if you're like just like it depends on the setting because i feel like when people are at like a party or something really social it's not as like weird but let's say like you're just walking down the street or something that's right um maybe if they like are like paused in like a space that's like normal to conversate like if you're in a coffee shop like i would say like um if it's like a space that's just normal for socializing okay you know? i don't think most people see the street as like a normal place to kind of stop and talk to them so i think it's more okay. about the setting and where you are than what you say okay that's real that's real appreciate your time thanks all right so how you doing i'm right. good what's your name Eliza. Okay, my quick question is just, how do you feel on just men being confident approaching a woman that they desire in their life? <laughs> um, I think it's a good trait. Okay. Yeah. Do you think like today is like harder or do you think like we're in a day and age where people are more receptive if people approach them 
and be confident, especially men, towards the woman they desire. I think it's like half and half. Like if you do it respectfully, I think it's good. Okay. But if you do it like in a not respectful way, I don't think it's, it's probably a little more like hard for okay. people to be, to, people to accept. That's real. Yeah. Okay, I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you. All right. I'm here with Molly. Okay, so the question is, how do you feel about a man approaching a woman that he finds desirable and wants to attract in his life without being awkward? Without it, you know, being a sense of where the woman is uncomfortable. I have a boyfriend. Okay, even better. So, like, <laughs> even with how you guys met, like, what was the context? And just overall, like, how did you get to a state of feeling comfortable enough to make that your boyfriend? I mean, we were I, I, just good friends. Gotcha. And then that's what happened. But you know how, like, guys get stuck in the friend zone? Yeah. And things of that nature? Just genuinely, because so many guys are out there confused, like, going through colleges. Yeah. And they fall in victim to master things in that nature and they, they live in lonely lives i'm pretty sure women go through it too but just this simple like a simple answer genuinely from you i don't know just lives. be nice and be then nice. if it's right the girl will get you out of the front don't zone. be a nice guy okay <laughs> have a go cool. <laughs> there is no perfect saying you just have to be very confident with who you are and make the approach man if you pay attention to what the, a lot of the women were saying was the feeling the feeling of the interaction, the feeling of the moment. So one big thing that I can give to y'all is make yourself feel comfortable, man. Make yourself feel comfortable through the discomfort in your life so you can make other people feel comfortable when you're genuinely talking to them and you're exchanging energy with them. That way you can connect with the woman more because you're able to make her feel a certain way you make you, you make her feel safe you make her feel comfortable so there is no perfect time to approach yes certain times when approaching is more of a chance to make her feel uncomfortable if it's like a wrong type of timing but overall if you have the feeling of comfortableness and knowing how to talk to people and comfortable with yourself you don't have to worry about any of that so make sure you feel comfortable in the discomfort in your life make sure you feel comfortable being you in your life forget today's society of the dating world and you know you feeling like you got insecurities and things in that nature embrace everything about yourself bro like you have a whole legacy ahead you just have to put yourself out there if you apply action in your life results will come in if you apply action to that woman that you desire in your life, results will come in. And rejection is something that is a part of the game. It's a part of reality. A lot of times when you get rejected in life, they say it's just God giving you the real blessing. That, what, that moment wasn't for you. That person wasn't for you. That opportunity wasn't for you. But you have to apply yourself to the market. I say it all the time. Getting yourself out there, you know, to the per to the person you want to connect with. Get yourself out there to the job you want to connect with. Your finances aren't going to be raised up unless you apply yourself to the market. You apply yourself to a skill set. You apply yourself to something where something exchanged. Value is exchanged. And when you are confident with a woman... When you are saying the things on your mind, when you're being bold and confident and making her feel comfortable, value is being exchanged. That's the energy she looks for in a man. See, a lot of times we we get in this point of social media and we compare ourselves and we take away from our joy. No, this is our legacy. We enjoy everything about our movie that's going on in our life right now. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. Get out there and enjoy your life. Allow your confidence to allow you to shine. Allow your skill set to, to put some type of money in your type of pocket to where you're living a different type of life. You don't have to struggle your whole life. You don't have to struggle with insecurities and lack of confidence in your life. Make yourself feel good so you can make that woman in your life feel good. Or that woman you want to come in your life or vet into your life. Make her feel good because you feel good. You became the man you wanted to be. You look up to yourself so people are able to look up to you. Okay? 
So don't don't make this process hard. I did this video to show men around the world. It's very, very, very simple. And women are aware of the game too. Like when I asked her, do you think social media has people mindset thinking they have more options than they really have? She said, yes. She said, yes. Social media is changing the dating world. But it's actually making things easier because you have access to knowledge. You know, how to be a man when you didn't have a father in your life. How to do that, that, that skill set that you feel like missing to up your income in your life. You have all these tools, but you have to be you and connect with you before you even able to use the tool. Because I can have a hammer in my hand and, you know know what it does but not be with myself and not have the skill set with myself to have the confidence to get to fixing things so i just have the tools in my hand a lot of y'all have this information y'all just have to apply it y'all just have to apply it bro if you got rejected by one get up get up on to the next one that job fire you it's cool on to the next one you never want to be friends with a woman that you desire and want to vet in your life to be the woman in your life, a vibe in your life. Because you can find yourself stuck in the friend zone waiting for it to be your turn. But you accepting the friend zone, she lost some type of respect for you in that way and seeing you in that way. You going in and out, in and out. So you never want to find yourself in a position of being on the wait list. She not ready, on to the next one. Being confident will have you in and out, 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 that's success. And in and out, in and out, in and out. And that woman guts, it in your confidence, man. In your higher self, in your higher state of conscience, man. So make sure you stay in that state. With that being said, man, the main thing you should take away from this video is it's about how you make the woman feel. There is no perfect time. It's all about the elevation, man. It's all about putting time and investing time into yourself so you can be the most confident in yourself and get the most from, from this world. Man, apply yourself, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'ma holler at you on another one, man.